Welcome everyone to another episode of Devotion to Promotion, where we'll be working with Nuneaton Borough in the Vanarama National League North again. We have good news and bad news. The good news, first, our form has been rather good for the past month, so we seem to have figured a few things out. There's a couple of caveats, but we'll take a look at that in a moment. The bad news, it appears Chairman Jimmy is having another moment because he's put the club back up for sale. I don't know if this time is another rumor or it's real, but we'll take a look at that as well. Then we're going to dig into a seventh place match on the road against Alfreton Town, which could have huge season implications for the table. So join us for this next episode. So yeah, Chairman Jimmy, if we look up over here, we've owner status in the process of a board takeover. We got another email about two weeks ago from our press secretary saying that the club is once again up for sale. And so I, I'm i starting to think it's kind of like where there's smoke, there's fire kind of thing, so that maybe something's really happening here. And eventually, some point this year, maybe the club will be so put up for sale. But I guess we'll just have to roll with it and just keep on driving. But uh, on good news... And the good news is, let's take a look at our results because we'd had this really bad run that we mentioned. And now it is uh, Boxing Day, December 26, 2021, actually fairly close to the real date, except two years into the future. And uh, we had talked about how we had this bad run. Then we came back against Geisley and looked really good. Our next four matches, all wins. Really good. Now, there's a caveat here, though. We played Whitby Town there, I think, dead last. Yeah, 24th in the Vanarama National North. We played Telford United at home. They are 21st in the National League North. We got them in the FA Trophy Cup first round. Kettering Town's 17th place. Uh, we had them at home, too. So, and Kings Lynn Town as well. I had them away, uh, 19th place. So, we haven't played the best teams, really. And the margins of victory here. Three to one, two to one, two to nothing, one to nothing. Haven't been all that impressive. And a couple of the away matches, we're putting in another formation, and I'll show that because we're going to use that in today's match. So uh, that's the kind of caveat. We're winning, but we're playing weaker teams. Today is a test because we have Alfreton Town, who sits in seventh place, getting them on the road. It's the first real good team we've played since Geisley, and we had Geisley at home. So of the last six matches, this one could arguably be one of our biggest challenges. But... If we take a look at the table, things have gotten a little bit safer, at least in terms of where we were. We're now, we're still in first place. Um, we've opened up a seven point margin over South Shields and Chester. Both of them have had some kind of couple of draws in here. I mean, they're still playing well. South Shields had a, a run there where they only picked up one point, two points in three matches, and that allowed us to open up a gap. So we're seven points up in first place, 19 matches left to go in the season. So still, you know, a substantial chunk, a substantial third of the season left to go here. So a lot of football yet to be played, but we've opened up a little bit of a gap. This next three, uh, we've got five matches here. One, two, three, four, five matches in the span of, looks like, uh, two weeks. Uh, which, one of them which includes the FA Trophy Cup second round against Ebbsfleet United. And although we got some easy draws in our first one, Ebbsfleet United sits in first place in the Venerama National League North. So I think the party's going to end there. But these next four matches could be big matches because we've got kind of tight packed, tightly back, packed together matches. If we can pick up good points in here and either maintain or open up a little bit more of a margin, that'd be super nice uh, to give us a little bit more safety between first and second place. But that's where we are status-wise. So so far, so good. Uh, I think, again, a big reason why we've played well is our strikers uh, have come back. Our striker and our winger is back. Elnaya is back and Bennett's back, and they've played really well. Bennett's got both goals in the Telford United match. Elnaya has come back. If we look here at our form, he has come back, but he has not scored a goal uh, since he has returned. I think because he's been a little bit rusty. But for whatever reason, he's just not putting in that. So I'm hopeful that today he will uh, will kind of sort things out here. And without any delay, then, let's dig right into our match. Uh, we're going against Alfreton Town again. They sit in seventh place. We've got everybody healthy now. We've even got our long-term, uh, this guy Purvis, who broke his ankle, uh, is now back and full training. So we're working him up into kind of match shape. And uh, with that, everybody will appear to be healthy. We're well-rested because we've had a match a week. We're going to go, because we're going on the road against a better team, I've been trying to build in a second tactic, and we're going with this 4-3-3 balanced. 
type of tactic. Uh, straight across the defense, that's familiar. But what we do is we basically take one striker and we change them into a mid, well, switch them out for a midfielder and pull that in. And this gets us in uh, Labadee, who was our midseason acquisition. He's got really good numbers. He definitely has anger management issues because as soon as we start to lose, he flashes red and he gets anxious and angry and we get warnings he's going to get a card and stuff like that. So uh, for just peace of mind, we're hopeful we score first here. He's very talented, but apparently those anger issues, anger issues are a real thing here for Labadee. Uh, other than that, up front, we got Bennett's back now. We got El Naya back, hoping we get some goals out of him. And then Nambe on the left-hand side has been providing quite a bit of offense there. So this gives us a little bit more of a defensive formation uh, where we're pulling a striker back into midfield. And we've looked pretty good with it and in, in matches we've played in it recently. So we're going to give this again a try today on the road. And with that in mind, I think we're uh, ready to go. Our, we are the favorites despite playing on the road here let me just check the substitutions yeah that looks pretty good let's submit the team and get going be nice to get um, we have these three nice tight matches big matches coming up be nice to get some good run of points out of here with these here let's go to our opposition and just do looks like they're in a four two three one kind of thing let's ask our assistant we definitely want to press these outside wings and and let's go to our team talk I think we should try to encourage the team come on lads show me what we can do to keep the run going hmm marginally effective there but there's a lot more to come for you and I believe you've got what it takes yeah our, our happiness is pretty good here so everybody's green happy and motivated and team talk uh, the positive atmosphere is tangible let's get started we are at home in the blue Alfredton town of course in the red oh sorry we are oh that's interesting we are away in blue our, our home our away uniforms are yellow I'm not sure why we're not wearing them but for whatever in El Naya drifts out wide here it's back to Nombe who cuts in to Labadee Petter Ooh. okay that's a good start now, with uh, us pulling a striker back off, I've noticed we're scoring less goals, but we're giving up a lot less chances. And we played that one whole match at, on the road, and we won uh, two to nothing. But I think the other team only had two or three shots, so that was rather encouraging. Bennett's inside. Oh, more precision there. Okay, so we've had a couple good chances here. Uh oh. Feels dangerous. Ugh. Okay, hopefully Labadee doesn't have anger management issues here. We're down early. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stick with this 4-3-3 for a bit. We've only had one shot. What happened here? Thomas, our center back, makes a nice block and then didn't stick with his man. The other defender didn't. Ah, it's just sloppy stuff. Okay. Well, we're out shooting him 6-1, to one, but... <clears throat> Their one counts. We might need to shift to that 4 2 4. Wow, they are completely overwhelmed by whatever feedback they got. Nombe was. He's got a card here now. Hmm. Okay, things. Oops, Nombe out here. Let's have him ease off tackles. And we'll confirm the changes. Back in we go. Nice to get some more chances here. I wonder if they're going to kind of score and then sit back against us. Isaac. Oh, bruised knee. He okay? He's fine. Eighty-five percent. That's nothing. Just a flesh wound. We have not scored on a set piece in a while. Um, our combination to Ogumbo. I'm not sure if other teams kind of watch that and kind of their goalkeepers keying on him now, because it seems like a lot of times we hit it to him, and then, uh, yep, we'll make changes there. Oh, actually, I don't think we can oh, okay maybe we can yep he's a central midfielder good wide wow we're almost at halftime here things going quickly out shooting 11 to 4 if we're tie if we're down at halftime i'm going to shift to the 4-2-4 um, because we need a little bit more offense here that's going to be in oh hit the bar come on petter stick with it stick with it here another corn oh off of Al. off of isaac a disappointing first performance, first half here, despite the fact that we have dominated in shots. Okay, let's shift our tactics up here at halftime. 
enough of this. We need to go offensive a little bit more. So let's, we're going to take Labadee out. We're going to bring Campbell in for Labadee. Switch Campbell for Petter, Petter and Isaac. Nope, come on, guys. Switch over here. There we go. Petter, ball winning midfielder support. That's all good. Labadee comes out. He had a yellow card, target man support. I think we're good. <clears throat> now let's go to our team talk. Yeah, performance was disappointing. Expect to see a much better showing. Let's, I think we need to go passionate. This is a, a bad match to lose. I don't think any players will keep in the first half. Make up for that in the second. Yeah. Ooh, I was hoping for a better reaction. There's a lot more to come from you, and I believe you've got what it takes. We'll go with that usual result here. End team talks. We're ready to walk through the walls. We've got our offensive formation in here. Let's actually go even to positive because we're going to – don't want to be chasing this game here if we can help it. Again, our offense can score quite a bit. We are still leading the league in goals. Scored. Step up. Oh, Jenna do it the nice style. Um, so we can put up goals here if, if we get going. Everybody's motivated. Nice. Kick. Isaac. Mombe. Mombe doing something. Petter. Yes. It's even. Game on. Nombe to Petter, and it's one-to-one. -one. Excellent. Let's praise them. Nombe, Petter, confirm shout. Wow, they just held it on his outside foot there for a while. Petter just cut in with his left foot and just drills it right into the corner. Petter actually had a header on goal in one of the recent matches, but it went over the bar. So our whole Petter header thing, I thought we were going to get it. Oh, Campbell. Okay. 15 shots to six. We're starting to put a run up here. Offense is cranking up. That's got to be it. Yes. Is that an own goal? Yes. We're up two to one. Oh, the fireworks have started. Nice. I think we're going to stay with this. Wonder, should we switch to that back to the... No, we can't go back to the... So would it hit there? Oh, it hit the defender right in the face. <laughs> Osula, thank you. 16 to six. Let's keep it up. I think, however, we might switch to balanced. Oh, we want to make those changes. Tackles Isaac back to Harper. The back heel pass. Isaac to Petter. Bashing ball in fourth. What's going on, guys? There we go. Forward. Okay, that works. Harper, our left back, way up high. Oh, I thought that was going in. Uh-oh. It's a dangerous spot. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Good. Pick it up. Send him. Send him. Yes. Send him. Not that him. Our him. Not your him. Nice. Bennett's. So nice to have Bennett's back on the right wing. Just brings such good dribbling skills. 60 minutes. Do we want to make any substitutions? Who has not doing well? And Naya still struggling up there. Let's. Uh, let's. We've scored a couple goals. Let's go another 10 minutes. I was thinking to flip sides on them. Harper struggling out on the left hand side. Jinadu is nervous. I don't see... Let's just run this another 10 minutes here. Let's see if we can pick up another one as we're... Jake Thomas. Okay, we got to slow that down and get him. Thomas. Let's have ease off tackles. We're picking up a lot of yellows here. Must be a physical match. They are uninterested now. Okay, 10 minutes left. Let's go in and slow things down just a little bit. We really should make a... Oh, we've made one substitution at halftime, right? Petter's having a good game. I think I can bring Kise in up for Petter and bring in a different right back. That might work pretty well. Let's do that. So we're going to bring Kwanzaa in for Petter and then switch. Petter, uh, Kise can come up at attacking midfielder. He's better defensively, and Kwanzaa is actually, I think, a little bit better of a, a right back. So, and actually, let's go a little more balanced here. Try not just nurse this one home. Up 20 shots to seven. I'd love to get another goal here. But, okay, 10 minutes to go. Let's slow it down and waste time wholeheartedly. Any more subs? I think we'll wait for the... Isaac got a yellow card. We're just going to let that play out. 
Oh, this has gotten really quiet. But now we have a highlight. Oh, this feels dangerous. Running at goal over the bar. Nice. Five minutes to go. Okay. Keep it up. I think once we get the... Ogumbo is looking exhausted. Why is he exhausted? He hasn't played a match for a week. Four minutes to go. Let's make one more tactical change to waste time. I don't have any defenders to replace him with, so... Oh, I could bring in Lindley. No. Let's bring in Major on the left and make him a winger support just to delay and eat up a few more minutes here. Okay, Thomas with the ball over the top. That wasn't much of a highlight. La, 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 la. This feels bad for whatever reason. Oh, corner. Okay. I feel like every match has this, like, obligatory corner from the side. Get out of here. Oh, squirming. Squeaky butt time. Ring, ring the bell. <laughs> nice. Clear it away. Hammond. Over the top. Jinadu. What is it? A save. Oh, wow. That was a long shot. Ref, you should be blowing the whistle here. Get it out of here. Good. Should do it. Is that the match? Excellent. Perfect. That's a big win. On the road against a seventh place team, I will take that. And a good performance, 24 to 12. Disappointed a little bit, though, in our 4-3-3 formation. I felt like that should have done better. Jinnadu nervous the whole time, but I thought he did fine. I don't know what he's nervous about. Let's uh, team talk here. Uh, good win, boys. What a comeback that was. Superb effort. I'm proud of you, and so should you all be. Yeah, let's do that. That was good. And then just some random comments. Shez Isaac played another wonderful game, just consistently strong. And then Petter as well played a nice game too, even though we pulled him off with a little bit of time left. Let's end the team talk, and let's see how we did in the standings. That's a good start to this nice tight run here. So Cell Shields won to have 60 points. We have 67, and Chester lost. So they drop 10 points off the pace. So we picked up ground on Chester. We stayed even with Salt Shields, who just keeps putting up, keeps putting up the wins here. That uh, brings us, though, to the end of today's match. Petter gets the, the man of the match here with a goal. And that was a clutch shot. Uh, I guess we'll try that. Thanks, boss. And then what does the press say here? None eaten battle to deserve 2-1 to one victory over Alferton Town on a windy afternoon in their Vanarama National League North game. Blah, 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 blah. All the typical stuff looks pretty good. Ah, that's a good start to it. So coming up, um, we have this another tight little pick, uh, Hensford Town, which we play in just two days. Then we come back against Darlington, who gives up very few goals and should be a tough match. Telford United should be an easier one. I think we'll come back for Altrincham, maybe, or Stourbridge. One of those two matches in the back half of January. So we're heading into the new year. Um, happy holidays in real life and happy holidays in our fantasy world simulation here too as it is uh, the day after Christmas, Boxing Day, and just a few days away from New Year's Day. So we'll be back in about four or five matches uh, hoping for good things and um, so far so good. And maybe we'll even have a different owner by then. I guess we'll uh, find, up. I'm, find out. I guess there's... Uh, who knows what'll happen. Thanks again for coming by. If you've enjoyed the episode, please uh, give a thumbs up, a like, because that helps get the video in front of other people. And then if you haven't subscribed and would like to get uh, keep up with what's going on, please consider a subscription as well. Have a great day. Happy holidays. Thank you.